What are the things that you want to prioritize when you're a beginner in Call of Duty DMZ? Now, as a beginner, normally you would think that getting a lot of contraband, even if it's not the best contraband, is a good thing. Well, let me tell you right now, that's not the best. Having a few good contraband is better than having a lot of base or bad contraband in your stash. For example, if you take a look at my contraband, then you will see that I only have a few to little to none except for this base weapons because every time i go into dmz i make sure to trick every single one of the weapons i have out with the cash that i get in game with at the upgrade station the next thing that you want to prioritize or the next thing that you want to pay attention to are your insured slots in my insured slots i have a kv broadside and an m4 because i haven't unlocked the insured slot 3 yet now you want to prioritize unlocking insured slot 2 because this is relatively easy and it really allows you to have DMZ much easier in my opinion because normally if you had only interest slot 1 you'd have to teeter totter on whether you have a shotgun or a assault rifle or an SMG because shotgun's really good but these are really good too or you can have interest slot 2 and you just bring one of each with you and every time you lose this you just get it back immediately the next thing that you want to prioritize, so the next thing that you definitely want to get relatively first is your wallet. Now wallet is pretty hard to get even though you'd think that you only need level 2 on black mouse, everything else should be straightforward. Well you're pretty wrong there. Wallet requirements are that you have to be level 2 in black mouse and exfil with $100,000 on you in one deployment. Not collectively like 20000 every deployment not collectively among you and your teammates 100,000 total it has to be 100,000 on you the last thing that you want to prioritize is getting as high as you can in these levels because they give pretty good rewards if you complete the story mission for example spetsnaz exposed gives curtain call which is a blueprint for the bass p also, the one before this, it gave a blueprint for the MX-9. Who knows what everything else will hold? I don't because I'm not there yet, but I'm sure that they'll be pretty good rewards. Lastly, you wanna, if you have time, you wanna, when you're in, lastly, when you're in deploying, lastly, when you're deploying, you wanna prioritize trying to get as many keys as you can for the important areas such as Aquarium in Vonda, City Hall key in Shika Island, or for example, the Post Office key in Almazra. They'll all help a lot because every time you die, for example, if I lose this operator because I have three of them, three of which are fully kitted out, if I lose one, then all I have to do is bring him into DMZ with me and just go into one of those stronghold areas so that I get my loot back because normally the loot there is really good. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video and you found it helpful, please like and subscribe as it really helps the channel. Thank you guys for watching. This was Pinamesis.